This is Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. Okay, so the dog run greenhouse is a big success, but now I need to put a top on. And one of my suggestions was use PVC. So I have a whole bunch of leftover stuff that I got free from the Y like ages. I was always going to do some with it. Now I know. I only had to buy four long pieces to do the rest. Let me show you. Basically, we're going to make two 10 foot with a hoop on the end and two in the middle. So roughly two foot a piece. I won't put the last one on until we hold it because it could be off just a tiny bit. So let me show you how we do this. All right. Basically, I'm going to do maybe five hoops. So before I was going to do two and a half, but let me figure it out. I want the strength. So basically you get the same measurements. One's going to be right and one's going to be left and the hoop will go over. Push on just on the ends, the 90 degree. That's an end. And in the middle are the T's. All right, I just put a pipe here that's 10 foot so I get C how much pipe I need left to finish this. And then I can mark it and then cut. It's just a small amount that I need to cut. All right. The hardest part is trying to put these pipes in. I tried to do it on the ground, but it just wouldn't stay. So all we have to do is climb up and bend it. Now, Taylor says a person could do it by herself, but let's see how that works. Oh, actually it <laughs> does because they're not glued. Okay, she is right. Okay, I might say she's brilliant at this time. Hi. Then we have to do the cross members. <laughs> Last one. Woohoo! Okay, that's pretty tall, but if we cut them any shorter, we couldn't bend them. So all I have to do is put a few going across to keep it balanced and hooked together. Okay, I had just did the zip ties to hold it temporary. Next, you need to put some wire or some. And if you use wire, make sure you point it out of somebody bumping into it. All right, free drill where each screw is going to hook onto the rib. That way you don't break the pipe. All right, then I screw it in the support bar on both ends, and then I'll hook it straight on the other ones. But always do the ends All first. Right. The main cross beam is in. So that'll keep the distance the same between each ribs, hopefully. It's not exact. And um, add support. All right, the next picture you see is my lunch from cooking with Taylor and Stefan. Totally delicious, so go check it out.